Welcome to Farming Aid. America's beef industry is entering a new era, and it is being shaped less by tradition and more by survival. Across the country, ranchers are facing hotter summers, longer droughts, sudden cold snaps, and rising feed costs that no longer follow predictable patterns. The old rules of cattle production are being tested, and the breeds that once thrived under stable conditions are now under pressure. This moment is forcing a hard but necessary question, which cattle can truly handle the future we are heading into? The answer is not about size alone or record-breaking weights. It is about resilience. In this video, we are looking at five cattle breeds that are quietly rising to this challenge. These are not just popular names or passing trends. They are breeds proving, season after season, that they can adapt, endure, and perform when conditions get tough. They represent the future of beef farming in America, where strength, efficiency, and adaptability matter more than ever. If the climate is changing the game, these cattle are the ones changing with it. At the heart of this shift is Beefmaster cattle, a breed created in the United States with environmental resilience baked into its DNA. Developed in Texas during the brutal heat and forage shortages of the early 20th century, Beefmaster cattle were selected for traits that matter even more today than they did then. Heat tolerance, fertility, mothering ability, and efficient weight gain on limited feed are not marketing claims for beef masters. They are the reason the breed exists. In regions where summer temperatures regularly climb and rainfall patterns swing wildly from year to year, beef masters continue to graze, breed, and grow with minimal intervention. Their slick coats help them shed heat quickly, reducing stress during extreme temperatures, while their strong immune systems lower veterinary costs in challenging environments. For producers facing hotter climates and shrinking margins, beef masters offer something rare in modern agriculture, consistency when conditions refuse to cooperate. What makes beef master cattle especially valuable in the climate conversation is their adaptability across diverse regions. From the Gulf Coast to the arid southwest and into parts of the Midwest, these cattle have shown they can perform without demanding high-quality forage year-round. They convert rough grasses into usable beef efficiently, which becomes critical as pasture quality fluctuates due to drought or flooding. Their fertility rates remain high even when nutrition dips, ensuring herd stability when feed costs rise. In a future where producers may not control weather but must control costs, Beefmaster cattle stand out as a practical answer rather than a risky experiment. Equally important in the conversation about America's next beef kings is the Santa Gertrudis breed, another American-developed cattle line shaped by environmental pressure. Born from the harsh ranching conditions of South Texas, Santa Gertrudis cattle were never meant to be fragile or overly dependent on ideal conditions. They are large-framed, powerful animals with an impressive ability to maintain body condition in heat and humidity that would cripple less adapted breeds. Their loose hides and short coats improve heat dissipation, while their calm temperament reduces stress-related performance losses during extreme weather events. As climate volatility increases, stress management becomes an underrated factor in beef production, and Santa Gertrudis cattle quietly excel in this area. Beyond heat tolerance, Santa Gertrudis cattle bring longevity to the table, a trait that becomes more valuable as replacement costs rise. Cows that remain productive for many years reduce the need for frequent herd turnover, saving money and resources. In climates where environmental stress can shorten productive lifespans, Santa Gertrudis cows continue calving reliably and raising heavy, healthy calves. Their ability to travel long distances for forage and water also positions them well for rangeland systems facing uneven rainfall. These cattle do not need pampering to perform, and in a future shaped by climate uncertainty, that independence may prove to be one of the most valuable traits of all. Moving north and into regions once considered safe from extreme climate pressure, Red Angus cattle are emerging as unexpected leaders in climate resilience. Traditionally associated with moderate climates and premium beef markets, Red Angus cattle are showing remarkable adaptability as weather patterns shift. 
Their red coats reflect sunlight more effectively than darker colors, offering a natural advantage in hotter summers that are becoming common even in northern states. This subtle trait reduces heat stress and helps maintain feed intake during high temperature periods, directly impacting growth rates and carcass quality. Red Angus cattle are also known for their efficient feed conversion, a characteristic that becomes critical as feed prices rise due to drought and supply disruptions. These cattle can produce high-quality beef without excessive input, making them economically attractive in uncertain times. Their strong maternal traits ensure calves get a healthy start even when forage conditions are inconsistent. As climate change pushes temperature extremes into regions once considered stable, Red Angus cattle are proving they can adapt without sacrificing the beef quality that made them popular in the first place. This balance between performance and resilience positions them as a quiet but powerful force in the future of American beef. One of the most compelling aspects of Red Angus cattle in a changing climate is their genetic consistency. Producers can rely on predictable outcomes in growth, calving ease, and carcass traits, reducing risk in an already unpredictable environment. When weather patterns disrupt planting schedules and forage availability, predictability in cattle performance becomes a form of insurance. Red Angus cattle offer that insurance while still fitting into both grass-based and feedlot systems. As producers look for breeds that can bridge the gap between sustainability and profitability, Red Angus continues to earn its place among America's future beef leaders. In regions where heat, parasites, and sparse forage collide, Brangus cattle are stepping into the spotlight as climate-resilient champions. Developed by combining Brahmin heat tolerance with Angus beef quality, Brangus cattle represent a deliberate response to environmental challenge. Their adaptability is not theoretical, it is visible in their ability to maintain productivity under conditions that strain conventional British breeds. Heat tolerance, insect resistance, and disease resilience allow Brangus cattle to perform consistently in environments where stress would otherwise reduce gains and fertility. Brangus cattle thrive in hot, humid climates where parasite pressure can devastate less adapted herds. Their skin characteristics and natural resistance reduce reliance on chemical treatments, lowering costs, and supporting more sustainable management practices. As climate change expands the range of parasites and diseases, this natural resilience becomes increasingly valuable. Brangus cattle also demonstrate strong maternal instincts and fertility rates, ensuring herd productivity even when environmental stress peaks. Their calves are vigorous at birth and grow efficiently, providing a steady supply of beef despite challenging conditions. What sets Brangus cattle apart in the climate conversation is their versatility. They perform well on pasture-based systems and transition smoothly into feedlot finishing, giving producers flexibility in marketing strategies. This adaptability reduces risk in volatile markets influenced by weather-related disruptions. As climate uncertainty reshapes regional beef production, breeds that can perform across systems will hold a clear advantage. Brangus cattle offer that adaptability while maintaining the carcass quality demanded by modern consumers, making them a cornerstone of climate smart beef production. Perhaps the most underestimated contender among America's next beef kings is the Senapal breed. Originating from the Caribbean, Senapal cattle were shaped by intense heat limited forage, and relentless environmental stress. Their introduction into American beef systems has revealed just how valuable those traits are becoming. Senapal cattle possess a naturally slick hair coat that dramatically improves heat tolerance, allowing them to maintain feed intake and reproductive performance during extreme temperatures. In a warming climate, this single trait can mean the difference between profit and loss. Senapal cattle also excel in environments where forage quality fluctuates. They are efficient grazers, capable of converting lower-quality grasses into muscle without excessive supplementation. This efficiency reduces dependence on external feed inputs, an advantage as drought and climate volatility drive feed costs higher. Their calm temperament further reduces stress, improving overall herd health and productivity. As heat waves become more frequent and intense, 
Senepal cattle offer a blueprint for what climate-adapted beef cattle can look like. Another defining strength of Senepal cattle is their disease resistance. Developed in environments with high disease pressure, they carry natural defenses that reduce the need for antibiotics and intensive management. This aligns with growing consumer demand for responsibly raised beef while also protecting producers from rising veterinary costs. Senepal cattle cross well with other breeds, allowing producers to introduce heat tolerance and resilience into existing herds without sacrificing beef quality. In a future where adaptability may matter more than tradition, Senepal cattle represent forward-thinking genetics built for survival and success. Taken together, these five breeds reveal a larger truth about the future of American beef. Climate resilience is no longer a niche concern or a regional issue. It is becoming the defining factor in which cattle thrive and which struggle. Beefmaster, Santa Gertrudis, Red Angus, Brangus, and Senepal cattle are not replacing every traditional breed overnight, but they are quietly reshaping expectations. They demonstrate that productivity and resilience do not have to be opposing goals. Instead, they can reinforce each other when genetics are aligned with environmental reality. As producers face longer droughts, more intense heat, unpredictable winters, and shifting disease patterns, the value of resilient cattle will only increase. These breeds reduce risk by maintaining fertility, growth, and health under stress. They lower input costs by thriving on available forage and resisting environmental challenges naturally. They also offer a path forward for beef production that respects both economic survival and environmental limits. The cattle industry has always evolved in response to pressure, and climate change is simply the latest, and perhaps greatest, test. As the climate continues to challenge every part of the beef industry, one thing is becoming clear. The future will belong to cattle that can do more with less and stay productive when conditions are far from ideal. Hotter temperatures, uncertain rainfall, rising feed costs, and shifting disease pressures are no longer distant concerns. They are the reality ranchers are dealing with right now. In this environment, resilience is not just an advantage. It is the difference between moving forward and falling behind. The breeds we explored in this video show what the next generation of American beef cattle looks like. They combine heat tolerance, efficient feed use, strong fertility, and natural hardiness in ways that match the challenges ahead. These cattle are proving that it is possible to protect both profitability and sustainability without sacrificing beef quality. They are not replacing every traditional breed, but they are setting a new standard for what success looks like in a changing climate. For producers, the message is simple. The future of beef farming will reward those who plan ahead and choose genetics built for tomorrow's conditions, not yesterday's weather. These resilient breeds are already leading the way, quietly reshaping how beef is raised across the country. If this video helped you see where the industry is headed, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. The conversation about the future of beef is just getting started, 